Hello, it's Matt. Today we're gonna to be putting together a $150 Chinese robot. So we have three boxes of components here. We have the brackets, we have some electronics, the controller stuff, and then we have a bunch of MG996R servos. Not the Tower Pro servos, so they're probably gonna fail. This is the servo controller of choice. So it's a 32 channel controller and it has PS2 input for like a wireless control. And also, a downside of buying such cheap products is your customer service is almost non-existent. So I couldn't find a manual for putting this together. The manual for this was very broken. Just like going to a fancy restaurant at some point, the food, doesn't, the food isn't necessarily better, but the, the service might be better. Since the servos are rated only to six volts and our 2S LiPo here is 7.4 volts nominal, but it's actually a little more than that. We have a step down buck converter somewhere. I don't know where I put it, it's on the ground. We'll get this down to six volts. Okay, here we go. Six volts. And we could hook it up to the servo controller. And this should turn on, cool. Actually, instead of destroying the headers on this servo control board, I'm gonna put an extension so I can, oh, it's right here. All right, so tested all the servos. To my surprise, they all worked. Yeah, so let's get started following the instructions. Ah! It took a while, but we have feet and some form of ankles. Help. All right, so I, I messed up. <laughs> this portion right here with the legs bent, instead of having two of these 45 degree angle brackets, I should have used one 45 and then one of these just flat ones. So we'll need to swap that out. And then that way we'll have something for the shoulders. Here we have the two arms of the robot. These will fit onto the rest of the unit. It's got a very disturbing image, so let's, let's put this back on. Plug in all the wires. Some of them are a little short, so we'll have to add extensions later, but for testing purposes, this will work just fine. And we'll load up the Stepticon wear on the MacBook. This is taking about six hours to build. Now we have to figure out how to program in this. Transition. So about a week has passed since we finished building the robot and in that time I have not showered, but we've also programmed eight different moves into the robot, just some basic walks uh, side to side. But before we do that, we're gonna make it look prettier by adding a, a case to this and also adding uh, some cable management so that the servo wires don't look too ugly. We ran into a couple of issues where the leg servos were too weak. And the issue was due to using plastic gears instead of metal gears. So I ordered a couple more off of Amazon. They were pricier, so we're no longer within that $150 budget. This is the original servo. Uh, it has plastic gears. So as you can see here, it's stripped down here. And also there's little remnants over here. There was only one metal gear and that is the one that connects to the robot. Because of the weight of the robot, this metal gear was basically stripping down everything else. So that was the servo issue and to make the robot more approachable, we have some PLA 3D printed housings. Uh, this is gonna go on the front and then I have this one. It's gonna hold the electronics on the back and then we have a rear case caps on there. I don't have a way to mount the two so I think I'll just use tape. And also I added a little window. It's, uh, I ran out of filament so yeah. So now that we have the electronics mounted within this case, we can mount this to the robot. I also forgot to mention that you should be using some kind of thread locker, such as this. This is Loctite Thread Locker Blue 242. 
Why? Because these tend to loosen on the robot, so uh, just keep things secure. Now we can make the cables all pretty. We have this cable wrap. And now we can put on this uh, back cap. Front is just like a, a slip-on panel. Uh, just friction fit. And now our robot has a nice backpack and a front piece. There was also supposedly a way to control it with a PS2 controller and plug it in, but I couldn't get this to work. I'm not sure why. I think it might be the receiver's broken. At least it works wired connected to the computer. So we're gonna execute some moves and hopefully it works and doesn't break. We'll start it off with a, a bow. Do a walk forward. The walk is not entirely straight. I'm not sure why, but I think it's like the uh, weight distribution is a little off. And we can do a walk backwards. And then we can do a side to side. It can do like a, a sort of crab walk. Ah! <laughs> yeah, so that's all the moves I could put into it. Uh, let's do a quick discussion into how to program it. We're gonna program, let's say, a basic arm movement up. So I know this arm shoulder is servo number seven, so I can adjust that here. And then in here, we can choose to add it, and now it'll add a line to our movement sequence. And now we can see that servo number seven has a difference in value here, and if we run it, it just interpolates between the two values. So yeah, that's the basics of the programming. Uh, then you save these files as an XML, and that file has all the data for the position of all the servos and also the duration. So if we open that up in uh, Internet Explorer, we can see all the ID, so this is the the sequence number, and also the uh, all the different movements, the time, this is 200 milliseconds, and then position, random crop. Yeah, pretty easy to work with, uh, just sometimes, I don't know if it's the onboard servo controller or the computer sending weird commands, but yeah, it'll like start spazzing out. But for now, it's, it's being very, very good on camera, and that's all that matters. And to make the robot friendlier, we're gonna add a googly eyes to it and a pom-pom for hair. Because that's where all robots go wrong is that they're too intimidating, so this will make it less intimidating. Oh yeah, one more move to show off its leg strength. It can do a squat. I think. Yeah. So thanks for watching this build process for this $150 humanoid robot. Of course, because we replaced the leg servos, it's more than that now. Uh, so maybe like 170. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button if you want, uh, ring that notification bell, and leave a comment if you have any suggestions or comments on how I could do this better. Because I, this is my first attempt at building a humanoid robot. Eventually, I would like to make one that can fight like the Robo One or like a soccer robot. Those are pretty cool. So yeah, stay tuned for more robot videos maybe. If I, if I get smarter. Okay, bye. Oh my God, stop. <laughs>